I knew that feeling, I knew that sound when I came around the corner. Yep. That's a $3,000, $3,500 little freaking inch shaft. You know, if that goddamn thing would have been an eight bigger. Never be a problem. Never be a problem. Well, the problem with this, well, look, here it is. Now, this is, this is Case New Holland's brilliant idea on all their equipment, is to take an unsupported shaft, a bearing, a but a, a, a cog, a bearing, a bushing, anything. They unsupport it. They put this tiny little freaking shaft in there. It's the stupidest goddamn thing. So, if I would have been going down the road, and I would I've been able to hit park and stop? Yes, because the block is on the other side. I mean, if this I, runs through a block on the other side. It's electronic. All right, but I mean, if I had to hit park, if I'm going down up that hill and that thing would have broke, you can hit park and it would lock the wheels. Yes, yeah. it'll lock them out. Yeah, because this is just what makes it go <laughs> forward and back. But that's you know, just the stupidest thing. So I have to go back to call Binkley and Hirsch and see about this gear because I highly doubt. Oh look, I fixed it. No, because I highly doubt that it's. I just weld the son of a bitch fast. <laughs> yeah. But now I highly doubt that I'm getting a gear that, you know, that's just the way they are. They're not going to give me that gear. I wouldn't have thought that that gear had bad splines or worn splines like that. But that's what's happened. It's unsupported. It... Yeah, and it's going to cost a lot now. Yeah, it's done. I mean, that. I got to throw it away. Well, <sighs> yeah, if it was a inch and an eighth shaft, it probably would have never had a problem. It would have been, well, no, it's an inch. Totally an inch. Yeah, it's an inch. So I guess that's it. Now I got to go clean it up. Take all the fittings off because the new one's coming and they're picking this one up. So any of the fittings that are on there have to come off. Huh? Why do they take the old one? Because it's $500. The core, they'll, they'll overhaul it. They'll pull that apart. They'll take that. They'll put a brand new shaft in there and put it back on the shelf. They'll clean it, put a shaft. That's it. I guarantee you, because there's nothing wrong with this thing other than that shaft. 
because once you start tearing into it you start breaking seals and moving shit around that shouldn't be moved around and by the time you're done I will disturb something and put it all back together again and it won't work pretty bad when you don't ask the parts guy what the part cost yeah. it's one of those things that you just absolutely need it you just don't give a hey, shit hold on. yeah go run 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 so anyway so we got this thing off obviously we've discussed it a little bit as to what is really wrong with it and this is well it should probably stay on there um, for the most part the pump is not destroyed um, there's parts that you can put in these pumps and rebuild them but I just don't have time so I'm buying a brand new pump and this one's going back they're gonna give me a core on it and yay I'll be good to go so it is about 530 here and I was like, well, shit, because I didn't expect that sprocket to be broken. You know, I didn't expect that. It runs in oil, and they never go bad in oil, you know, which is really weird. This one actually went bad in oil. I've never had it go low in oil. I, I don't know. It's just, who knows? It just wore and did its thing. So my dad, he says, well, why don't you call the people up where the header you bought the header from? And I said, oh, yeah. So I'm looking all over. These guys are in Oregon. Oregon, 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 not or Oregon. Okay, so in, they're in Oregon, and I believe these guys were, I don't know where in the heck they were, but these are the guys that I bought this header from back in 2016, and uh, I forget where in the heck they were. Othello sounds familiar. Might have been Christmas Valley, Hines, I don't know. Anyways, but these are all the stores that they have, and wouldn't you know it they actually had the sprocket in the clips and he says hey let me let, I said can you overnight it he says well let me see if the uh, UPS is left yet so he yelled across the counter and they said that UPS was there and he held UPS up so I could get that sprocket on a truck headed to New Jersey today that's fast thinking I have to thank my father for that one so yeah these guys here they did a good job they actually had it in stock which blew my freaking mind so, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to blow it off and get Joe even dirtier. Look at this guy. He looks like he wore the oil. Hey, come here. This poor dog. Well, that's not cool. Okay, so you're going to need to get me the adjustable pictures of this thing okay so this is not my happy face right Tim? Mm -hmm. why is this not my happy face because you got the wrong pump. I got the wrong pump I have now boxed it back up I paid two hundred and sixty dollars to have this thing delivered overnight It didn't show up until about quarter to five. And by the time it shows up at quarter to five, you have no way, and you realize that the pump is wrong, you have no way of making it right today. Okay. So if I knew that the pump was not correct, if I knew that the pump was not correct, uh, say at noon, I could have driven somewhere and gotten the pump because I called the people that I purchased it from. I won't name the I won't name the dealership, but I'd have called the people that I purchased it from, and uh, they told when I did call them at five o'clock, you know, because it didn't take me too long to realize that there was something really not right about the pump. Um, they tell me that there's they're, that they have the right one, but it's like 45 minutes away from them, whether it's at another store, at another dealer, or at their hub, or whatever it was, warehouse. So, I don't know. He tells me, okay, um, well, we've got the right one, and I don't know. I can't do anything. So, he says, let me call you back. Let me call you back, and we'll get this... Uh, rectified. So that was at 5 o'clock and I'm thinking right about now it's after 6. It says unlocked. Oh yeah, it's almost 7 o'clock. 
So at almost seven o'clock, I have no, no phone call. Um, we just had a rainstorm come through, rain shower come through, pretty hefty one. But uh, I haven't gotten a phone call. I'm a little upset, but what are you gonna do? You know, I still have the John Deere mower, and Tim, you got the Gale mower running, right? Yep. Gale mower's ready to go, so I think I'm just gonna say fuck it and uh, not even worry about that case wind rower right now. And tomorrow, I have to go and mow county ground. Apparently, apparently there's poison hemlock. Poison hemlock growing on this one field up by Walmart. Really? Yes. So the poison hemlock, which, I don't know. I don't know what poison hemlock is. As far as I know, isn't that what Juliet took? No. Then they give, Romeo took the hemlock, right? And Juliet stabbed herself in the heart, correct? No. Okay, so the hemlock is poison. So I, I never saw this shit before. So I, I Google it, you know? I'm like, poison hemlock, show me some pictures. I go up, and I drove up, and I looked at it. I was like, well, well, son of a bitch. There's actually poison hemlock growing on county parkland in Hunterdon County, New Jersey. And I have to go take care of it. I've never seen poison hemlock before, ever. It's never been on anything. So how did it get there? Who knows? Who knows? But it's no big deal. But they, were, they weren't concerned that people were going to go eat it and die. They weren't concerned about anything other than uh, it was a concerned citizen that noticed the poison hemlock. They called the, town, the, the county park system county park, and told them that, hey, uh, we know that farmers feed that to cattle and uh, Are you serious? And we're afraid that if they bail that hay and that poison hemlock is in there, it's going to kill his cattle. Which I'm okay with. You know, that's not so bad. So I told the park lady, I said, you know what? I don't feed it to cattle. I feed it to people. And she's like, I know nothing. <laughs> you know? I says, I, I actually bail it and it goes to the mushroom industry. So... You know, mushroom growers and the, and the composters and, and, you know, I feed it to people. But, you know, of course, then you tell them you're feeding poison hemlock to people. She's like, I don't know anything. I don't want to know. Just don't. Oh, my God. So, anyways, tomorrow I got to go mow that. And I don't know. They were supposed to call me back and let me know if this pump was going to be there tomorrow at 9 o'clock. He never called me back. But tomorrow morning, if I get to that dealership, and I'm leaving early, I'm going to that dealership, and I'll be there at 9 o'clock. There better be a damn pump in there for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in a truck right now and call it a night. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more.